What's up guys and welcome back to some more of the Hunter Call of the Wild. I'm excited to be back baby. I know it's been a couple of days since our last episode. If you guys don't know, we've got a couple of new racing series on the channel that we're taking up quite a bit of my time, but uh, I'm excited to get back into this. I'm excited to get back hunting some uh, some game, and we actually have a pretty exciting episode ahead of us. We are going to be editing our loadout for the first time. We are going to be buying some new weapons, and we're going to see what we could do. So there was a comment a couple of episodes ago on episode two. Let me find it real quick. Viking said, if you have the DLC packs, try using the 30-06 with polymer tips. It's good for almost everything on this map, and it's 10 times better than the 243, which is what we're currently using. I would keep the 243 in the loadout for coyotes, and I would grab a 22 for the ducks and rabbits. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. Thank you, thank you Viking, I appreciate it. I appreciate all of you guys leaving tips and stuff down in the comments. So we're gonna look for the uh, the 30-06. Looks like we've got a couple of different options. Are these just different colors? Premium color variation, premium color variation. Um, Eckers is a high-end bolt-action rifle. I mean, I kind of like the, the wood, if you want me to be honest. And it looks like it's free through the DLC, so that's exciting. I'm going to go ahead and purchase this. Bada-bing, bada-boom. We've got it. Obviously, we're going to have to kit it out and get, like, a scope and stuff on it. But at least we've got that right now. And then I'm thinking, where are we going to see 22s, 22 LRs? Okay, so we've got a, a Express, Classica. I think I'm going to go with the Classica. All right, let's go ahead and buy that as well. So we've got a, a 22 and a 30 out six now. Now, how do we? I, do we have to buy some ammo? We're probably gonna have to buy 30 out six polymer tip bullets. Ten of them are gonna cost us 850 dollars, dude. That's that's pretty rich. I'm not gonna lie. So let's buy uh, let's buy probably two two packs of these. I'm gonna say, and then we're gonna want some 22 LR as well. Is it 10? Are they all sold in tens? This is only 200 bucks. Which isn't as bad, yes. We're, we're going to buy two sets of those. Now for sights, rifle sights, obviously we're going to need a sight for each one of these. Or do we? I'm not sure. Where where do we where do we equip our 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 actual like stuff? So this right here is going to be our new 30-06. We've got our, our whatever this was, the 223 or whatever. And then we have this thing here, which is going to be our, our 22. Now I don't know, how do we, how do we get... How do we get scopes on? Let me let me see sights. If I put this, ah, I could put that sight on there, and now we have our our sight on it. You can have the same sight on all three. I kind of want a new sight though. Let's let's mix it up here. So I'm I'm gonna go I'm gonna go to rifle sights. There's actually not not much we're gonna be able to do for for rifle sights. We need to unlock a lot of these. We have one available in eight to to sixteen times, but that's gonna cost us thirty six thousand dollars. So I guess we're just gonna have to roll with this for now. So yeah, this is uh, this right here is our new bad boy. This should be able to take down pretty much anything on this map. So Moose, you done, son. Now you guys know the mission we were trying to do in the last episode was a bust. We couldn't find anything. So I'm gonna switch over to this main story mission here, investigating bears. After having his stores ransacked, Hope is in need of supplies for the winter season. Food is scarce, and Hope suspects bears are scaring away the black-tailed deer in the region. Doc has suggested you investigate the possible presence of black bears in Balmont. Now, we know they're here. We've got to ID three tracks from three different bears, and uh, we're, we're just going to get into it. I'm pretty sure, let me pull out our, our phone here. I'm pretty sure, yeah, we've, we've already got two different IDs, so we just need to find one more set of tracks. Obviously, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna hunt as we go, but this this should be easy. If we can just find one set of tracks, we should be good to go. Should be able to move on to our our next mission. Poor Hope, man. Somebody somebody came up and and stole all of his his stuff. Some human stole like all of his food and reserves and stuff like that. What is that? Warning call from a moose. Hello. He's downwind though. There's no way. There's no way we're gonna be able to. Be able to sneak up on him, I would imagine. Shoot, that would be nice. Let's just keep on going. We're going to look for tracks. Uh, but yeah, somebody came in and stole his stuff. He's trying to prepare for winter or whatever. And uh, now he can't even find new stuff. What is this, moose dung? Guess that settles it. No wonder the black tail's on the run. Got to give Hope some credit. His suspicions were right on target. Thanks for keeping a lookout. Hey there, I think it's time I told you about Jonathan Trampfine. 
tramp find He heard of your dealings with black bears in Belmont, so he wanted to know if you might help him out as well. Tramp Fine loves black bears. He's been living out here on the reserve for many years, getting as close as he can to the bears and documenting them. A little too close for comfort, if you ask me. Last couple of days, he's been trying to get a picture of a group of black bears that just arrived this season. He's had no luck, though. And he wondered if you would take a swing at it. He'd pay you, so it might be worth your trouble. So you want me to go photograph some bears? That's a different type of shooting that I didn't think we were going to be doing today, but I'm down. Dude, I would really love to try to shoot this moose, but there's there's no way. He is like directly downwind from us. He's going to smell us coming from a mile away. I think we got to kind of let that one go. With Jonathan. He probably feels like he's becoming one with nature out here. And I can understand that, of course. But he's walking a fine line. And I worry one day he might find himself on the wrong side. Whew. Those are some, some intense words there, man. So where are we trying to go? Where's our objective here? Does he just want any any sort of a picture? Let me check our mission log. Uh, photograph two different black bears. Okay. I think we just heard the, the call of a black bear from somewhere over here. So I'm trying to go check it out. It'd be nice if we could, could get some sort of a trail. I thought I just saw something off on the left right there. Let me... Let me see what this is. Those are not going to be black bear droppings. Those are black tail droppings. Do we have black bear tracks here? Nope, more black tails. We've, we've seen a fair number of black bears in this game. I just feel like we've, we've kind of stumbled upon them. I feel like any time we've tried to track them, they're really hard to track. So we've, we've gotten pretty lucky so far. Um, so it's, it seems as if... That might be our, our next objective here, is we're just going to have to track them down, get a photo of them with the camera, and then take a nice photo of them in the middle of our scope, if you guys know what I mean. Got this new 30 out 6 I'm trying to try, to try out on them. Bit of a, a bigger bullet. Should have a little bit more stopping power. But we're just going to have to zoom around until we find one. Aha! Think we found some tracks. A trotting black bear. He went this way. We're going to have to find some dung and we'll be able to see how far away he is. Very fresh droppings again. See, I, I want to sprint because I want to catch up to him. I don't want them to keep, keep getting away from us. Every time we get up over a ridge like this, I hope that we're, we're going to be able to see him, but I don't see anything. We've got some more. Fresh shoot. See, he, he must have been scooting, huh? Let me check this. Very fresh. All right. I think I'm going to I'm gonna try to make my way up this hill. I don't, I don't know if this is the same one we're tracking, but, I mean, any, any bear is a good bear. Ooh. Ooh. That counted. That counted. Okay, now we just got to track him down and try to, try to shoot him. I don't see him anywhere. We got the photo though. Ultimately, the photo is what we were looking for. We got to make some money, baby. You know what I mean? Like money, money isn't an, an important part of this game. So, I wish I wish we could have could have gotten both shots, but that's all right. We're gonna try. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. We might have a new a new trail here. Let's continue trying to follow him. Ooh. Warning sounds of a rabbit. I'm not worried about the rabbits. Ooh. Are there Tyrannosaurus Rex out here or what? Guy really dipped out on us, man. He t <laughs> he took off. He he saw us or something. He saw us stand up and click that picture and he was gone. Oh. Let's try to coax her out. I'm down. Can't hurt. Anything we can get as a win. Oh, she's just resting right there. Are you serious? And I'm just... I'm just gonna gonna ruin her whole day right in the front of the chest I don't know if that's the best spot to do it that's our first shot with a 30 out six by the way guys so uh congrats on that let's go check uh let's go check the blood I hope we hit some sort of a major organ yeah already down that's uh that's a wrap 
Let's see what we actually hit. I mean, that was a fairly big one. Hit uh, the, the right lung right there. Not going to be worth any trophy rating or anything like that, but we did get $900 cash. I mean, just thinking about some of the, the prices of what we just paid for ammo, I would venture to say that's really worth it. So we added some hunting pressure here. I'm going to go ahead and, and keep moving around this lake. Really, we have to... We have to find find some more bear tracks. Let's focus on our focus on our, our mission for right now. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a deer! Oh a moose feeding right there. Okay. What do you guys think? Should we take the shot on the moose? Are you allowed to kill female moose? What's our best plan of action? Probably right in the neck? Oh, she's just sitting there eating. I feel so bad. Let's get a little bit closer, maybe. I mean, this is... If there's a black bear around here, it's going to scare him away. It looks like our black bear tracks are right here in front of us. Oh, dude, this this is so painful. I really want to shoot the moose. Let me, let me try to find some black bear droppings and see how far he is. Are you serious right now? You're, you're going to give me a, a prime moose shot like that? But the black bear could be close. There's some droppings right here. I mean, now that we have his track, we could take the shot and then just take off running after the bear and see if we can try to try to scoop a photo when he's spooked. Old. Okay. Uh, what what's out there? Oh, that's just grass. Next shot, is that where we want to shoot the moose? I'm not sure. I went for it. Hopefully it worked out for us. We'll see what happens. We really, I mean, we had a, a good look at the, the lungs too. We probably could have hit the lungs in the side. I feel like the next shots have worked really well for us. Is this all the blood that came out? That's not... Hold on a second. Where are our moose tracks? We need moose tracks. I'm getting, I'm getting black-tailed deer tracks. Oh, here's a little bit more blood. Bleed rate very low. Shoot, okay. So that was, that was not, that was not a good call. Moose was trotting away, bleed rate very low. Let me bring up our phone and we're gonna try to track this all the way down. She went this way. All right, we, we gotta track her down. We gotta put her out of her misery. Man, I, I really, I, I need to do a better, a better job. I really, like, I promise you guys after this episode, I'm gonna go look up where I'm supposed to be shooting certain animals. So I found a guide on Steam while we're walking here. Uh oh, what's this in front of us? Uh, black bear warning call and the wind is, is working with us so we might be able to we might be able to do something with this it looks like the moose you want to shoot for the heart or lungs which is basically in line with the front legs maybe a little bit behind it the the heart is is basically where the leg attaches to the body and uh, the the lungs kind of wrap around it a little bit so I think that's just what we're gonna have to start doing I've been trying to get creative obviously you don't want to go for for head and neck shots because it's harder to hit and those are spots where like if you were gonna taxidermize it and, and show it as a trophy you wouldn't want holes there so um, I'm just I'm gonna have to retrain myself obviously like Cod, which I don't know why we're comparing this to Cod, but Cod, you always want to aim for headshots. For whatever reason, I've been trying to go for headshots and neck shots and stuff. That's all that's available, maybe, but we pretty much want to focus on, on shooting that area just behind the front set of legs. And that goes for moose, that goes for deer, that goes for coyotes, I'm pretty sure. That goes for a lot of the different animals in this game. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do some more reading on that afterwards. I'm kind of bumming that we missed our first one. I hear something here. Holy sh! Oh, you found him. How about that? Now, Tramp Fine wouldn't agree with me, but black bears are fickle animals, so you best keep your distance. That's it. That's what he wanted, so I'll pass it on to Tramp Fine. Oh my god! <laughs> I had to take the shot as he was running away. I don't think we're gonna hit anything there I was trying to aim high enough that it would end up going through the back and getting something I can't believe that we we actually got a medium bleed rate out of that shot. 
I mean, medium bleed rate is, is a good sign. Hopefully that means he is gonna end up going down. The problem is we're having a hard time. We're having a hard time uh, finding the next track here. Dude, sometimes you have to go, You I, I just do these sweeps. You have to go far and wide and just kinda do these sweeps across this cone and hope that you see anything blue. Anything cyan. That's a little I don't even know what that was. Dude, I don't I don't see anything. No. Now the thing is 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 it did give us hunting pressure, so I'm pretty sure this dude died. I'm pretty sure this this bear croaked. We're just gonna have to find out where he croaked. It doesn't doesn't give you hunting pressure unless you uh, unless you you end up getting the kill. So I'm I'm gonna go back. Let's try to retrace our steps here. We gotta we gotta find the next clue. There's gotta be a clue somewhere in here. We're just missing it. So this is this is our last last clue right here. The blood splatter goes this way. So if I was a bear, I mean those are moose tracks. If I was a bear, which if I was shot. And I knew I was dying, where would I run to? It's kind of a morbid way to think about it, but that's ultimately what we're looking at here. Shoot, dude. It's a white-tailed deer call. There's just, there's, there's, uh, is that a rock or is that? That's a bear right there, let's go! We found him. So the panic shot right at the end was able to make it work. Oh my goodness. We hit him in the, the flesh, pelvis, intestines, and lumbar vertebrae. That was actually a pretty good shot. The fact that we aimed high, that's what I was trying to do. I wanted to get some sort of the spine. You shoot him in the butt, that's not going to do anything. If you get him in the spine, eventually they may, may bleed out. So we'll take it. 832 cash. I mean, it wasn't the cleanest kill. Definitely didn't drop him too easily or too quickly, but uh, we got the job done. And let's talk about the fact that we were laying in the grass and he walked up on us and we got a heck of a picture. Oh, I can see a deer up there next to that cabin. Hold on a second, let me let me see if I can, if I can call him in. Oh, I see you, darling. I mean, if it's right for the taking, it's right for the taking. Here we go. Ooh. Couple of them. Oh, buck. A big buck. We gotta get the buck. We gotta get the buck. So we're gonna go for a lung shot here. I think that might have been an instant kill. Hold on a second. Don't tell me that your boy just popped up. Bang bang. Let me see what we did. Obviously, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna get this buck first. Oh man, what a shot on the buck! I love it. Oh, things are things are popping off. I'm loving this 30 out six. We got the left lung just barely. He almost walked past us. Silver 730 cash. We'll take it. Let me go ahead and accept that. Now we also hit another one right here, and it looks like it was a vital organ hit. Are you kidding me? No. <laughs> Two for one, baby. Now, obviously, that was a little bit concerning because we were shooting pretty close to some cabins. I don't think there are any other actual humans in this game, so uh, we're, we're going to be okay with that. But look at that. Man, things are heating up. As soon as we were able to get that, that stupid bear, been tracking those guys all day. As soon as we were able to take them down, we are, we are going to start popping off here. So this is going to be a very hot part of the map. I'm going to say let's, let's go a little bit north here. So while we were tracking that bear and, and trying to find where he went, we did get a new mission. There's Richard Hope, who, is, who we've been helping out with so far. The bears came and stole his stuff. He's worried about it because they're scaring off all the blacktails, so he's not going to be able to find food to eat, stuff like that. Uh, this is his mortal enemy, Jonathan Trampfine. So Trampfine considers the bears his darlings. Jonathan Trampfine is going to pay us to find three samples of, uh, of bear poop. Got a curious doe here. How close do you, th do you guys think we can get her? She's coming to check us out. I'm 
And then it looks like she might get a little bit closer. I did hear a mating call. That should put her down. One shot KO. I did hear a mating call, which is why I laid down and I was using the collar because I was hoping we were going to be able to get a buck over here, but I guess not. Let's see what that looked like. Uh, right lung, left lung, right scalpula. That was a good shot right there. To be honest, I'm just, I'm, I'm kind of hoping to find another moose. I feel like this episode has been so exciting. The last episode was kind of a bummer. This one's been good. We've had a couple of really good shots. Took down a black bear. Few deers so far. Like things, things are looking pretty solid. I would just, I would love a second chance at that moose. I feel like that moose would have made it perfect. And I'm not, I'm not finding a moose. They're very hard, dude. We get limited chances and we stumbled upon the perfect opportunity. Really, we should have taken the shot when we were like straight up on the side of her. But we were more looking for the, the black bear at that point. It just would have, uh, it would have been nice to bag that. So that's, that's kind of what I was looking for here. I was kind of hoping to, to get a little bit lucky, but we should probably just focus on, on finding some black bear tracks. I'm ready to stop tracking black bear, man. My goodness. It's our finicky beasts. Definitely takes a lot of patience. Definitely, uh, definitely takes a little bit of luck as well. So as soon as we... Wrap it up on the black bear. We should should be able to refocus. I'm kind of thinking, I mean, maybe not yet. We definitely have to bag a moose. But even if we aren't completely done with the story in this map yet, I'm kind of thinking maybe we can move on to another map. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. We also, there is a coyote hunting mission. So I feel like, I mean, we haven't hunted coyotes yet. We haven't seen them at all. Black bear trotting footprints. Here we go. Okay, so if we just follow this, we should be able to get three piles of dung. Hopefully we don't need three piles from three different different animals. But we should be able to get it. Um, but yeah, may maybe we hunt, hunt some coyotes and then we move on to the next one. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. There Here's our go. first set. Some prime bear poo. Just a couple more samples should do it. Appreciate you. I got you, man. Sometimes the, the trails, they turn around, dude. It doesn't make any sense. Now he's going back this way. Is this the... That's the same sample we just had. But this one says he's going that way. This one says he's going this way. What in the world is this guy doing? Here's our second sample. Is that going to count? It's two out of three. All right. So we just have to find one more. Here's our last sample right here. Great. Uh, I think that's enough. I'll let Tramp find no. <laughs> we'll take it. 2,500 bucks cash. Just... Gotta get a few samples of poo. 500 XP. I love it, dude. We got something back behind us. That was a black bear call. No chance I'm tracking you down, buddy. I kind of want to take one last look here and see if we see any moose out here by the water. So there's no moose out here, but I do see a ton of deer. Ooh, there's that's a big buck and that's a big buck. Which one do we think is bigger? Look at the outlines. I think this one might be a little bit bigger. Uh, wind is in our favor. They are pretty far out, though. We've got a black bear over there too. Are you kidding me? Tell me this black bear is about to go eat these these deer or something. I don't think they they do that. I don't think they're carnivorous like that. I think they like eating plants and stuff. Dude, if we take a shot, everyone's going to go scrambling. The thing is, I have no clue how far out they are. We really need to get one of the range finders and then we can get, I think there's a perk that allows you to change your scope depending on range so you know how much bullet drop there's gonna be. I have no clue what the bullet drop would be at this, at this range. This guy looks a little bit bigger now but it says that he's very easy. Oh, there's this guy too. Oh, shoot, 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 shoot. Be careful, Trev. We're about 94 out right now. Catch your breath for a moment. Do we get a hit? I 
I don't know if we got a hit or what. I don't know if we had to aim higher than that. I mean, I would imagine 90 meters of bullets not going to drop that much, right? But I have no clue. We're about to go find out. It looks like the, the second buck stuck around there for a minute. I really hope to this add hunt. It added hunting, pre hunting pressure, so we must have got him. I really hope we can find... Oh, he's down right here. Instant KO, baby. And it's a a pretty good looking buck. We'll take it. So that is a uh, a three difficulty, very easy. It's gonna give us a silver rating, which is the best that we've had, at least tied for the best. We've had a bunch of silvers so far. Um, hit him in the, the right lung, beautiful shot right there. Took care of it, got a thousand dollars cash, 400 session score, 197 XP. We'll take it, we'll take it. Got a level up, not too bad at all. What do we have over here? These are probably the, the guys that ran from us. I would imagine they're probably going to be pretty sketchy. Plus, the wind is kind of at our back here. I, I doubt we're going to be able to find anything, but uh, I'm going to head that way and see what happens. So anyway, I feel like that's kind of a, a good spot to end this episode. I feel like it was a very successful episode. Like I said, the only thing that could have made it better was to be able to get that, um, be able to get the, the, the moose. We definitely messed up on our moose shot, but hey, we learned something new. We're getting better every day. We also had a really nice two for one, not two for one, but back to back shot on some uh, some deer and, and got a bear and everything else as well. Completed a couple of main story missions. I feel like it was good. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, I feel like I thought that poppy seed was like an antler or something. I feel like maybe one more episode in this area where we go try to get some coyotes as well as try to knock down a moose and then maybe move on to a new area. I don't know. Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm going to catch you all later. Peace out.